Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how I made this page protector. This is a 12 by 12, and it's got three four by fours on the top and on the bottom, and four three by fours in the middle. Now I know this is a page protector you can buy, and I tried, I thought I was buying it, but I ended up buying something completely different. So because I didn't have it, I just decided to use my own. And all I needed is a page protector, a blank 12 by 12 page protector. You could use any page protector that you have. I've got Becky Higgins. And then you need a fuse tool. This is We Are Memory Keepers fuse tool. And what it does is it fuses the pockets together so that you can make your own custom pockets. And this is an amazing tool. Becky Higgins actually has her own brand, but because we are memory keepers and Becky Higgins come from both American Crafts, I believe it's the exact same tool and does the exact same things. So um, anyway, you could use either of them. So I wanted to show you how you made this. If you want to do, you know, be simple and just buy your own, you can. Um, I thought that I would show you how to do this though because it opens up a whole lot of different options to make your own kind of pockets. I've seen a lot of people where they've fused it into a diagonal and they've put sequins on one side so that there's kind of a see-through to their pocket. So that's a lot of fun things you could do. You could also like seal the top of the three by four. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with the fuse tool. Um, but this is the layout that I'm gonna show you today. And if you remember, I did this for um, week 41, I believe, is when I used this pocket. Pocket. And then this on the back side was week 42. So before we get started, I just want to show you, I want to tell you a little bit about the fuse tool in that you need to be super, super careful with this tool. It is very hot. Um, I have burned myself very badly by, I, and don't ask me why, but I grabbed the metal part of this because I thought it had turned off and I wasn't really thinking and I really burned my finger. So be very careful wherever you set it down. If it's touching the metal, it will melt unless it's glass. So just keep that in mind. So just be extra careful when you're using it. So things that I'm going to be using today, I've got the page protector. I've got um, this ruler that came with the fuse tool and I'm actually going to be using it upside down and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, I've got my glass block that I'm gonna use for um, the smaller portions. And I'm just gonna set both of those aside because I don't need those up front. And then this piece of paper. And what I've done is I've taken two, these are basil, but there's two 80 pound pieces of paper stuck to each other that I've taped to each other because what I wanna do is I wanna make sure I have something rigid that I can push this across but I, and I wanted it to be 12 by 12, but I need it to be smaller than from the wheel to the very top. And I don't know if you can see that there, but from the wheel to the very top, I need it to be smaller than that space right here. And so this works out great because if not, then I'm, then I'm using, you know, then this is my guide, this outside is my guide, and I just find it's more complicated than if the wheel is your guide. So that's why I'm using the paper, and that's why I'm choosing to turn this ruler upside down because they've got these um, rubber feet, and when you turn it upside down, you're still able to use this as the guide, but you get right up against it. So you'll be able to see that when I do it and maybe it'll make a little bit more sense as I go along. So I'm gonna pull this back and I'm just gonna grab the photos that I used from that day because I know that they're cut correctly. These are cut to about three, uh, three by 15 sixteenths. So three inches by 15 sixteenths um, squared. And then I believe that's 10 millimeters. So if you just want to make yourself make it easy for yourself, I don't know why we Americans will not get on the metric system, but there you have it. So that is the size of these pieces of paper, and I'll show you how I'm going to use it to cut this. Now it's not um, complicated. Well, if you've never done it before, it seems a little complicated. In fact, let me pull out a sample. Here we go. 
Um, I'm just going to pull this over. So I have this left over from another pocket page that I cut up. And what I want you to make sure and do is you see how this is going to go right up against it. And so I don't have to worry about that ledge right there. So wherever I put it, and maybe I'll make this right here into a diagonal so you can kind of see that you could put stuff in the pocket right here and then seal it off. So I'm just going to make it into the diagonal. And I want to make sure that I've got... Um, wherever you touch this down... Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about this tool is it gets... Um, you want it to be really hot when you use it because you want it to really seal the plastic. I've used it before when it's only been on for a couple of minutes and it does not work well. So you wanna make sure it's on for at least 10 minutes to be able to get it hot. And right when you touch the plastic, you wanna start moving because you do not want it to create a hole in your plastic. So I'm gonna pull it this way actually, cause then I can start off the plastic and you just want a firm pressure and to keep moving into the end. Now you can see right here that it skipped a spot. Now if it skips, keep moving, don't stop. Just keep moving and you can go back like I'm doing and you can get it. That does not wanna go. So there you go. And you could have filled this up and had like sequins and stuff in it and then it can be like a see-through pocket. So it's really fun to use. All right, so let's get started with the bottom. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my photos or my cards, whatever I'm using, on the bottom. Now I'm gonna try and space it, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. You could put um, adhesive on the back, but I don't want to because I think it makes it harder to get out in the end. If you wanted, you could have your spread already made and, um, let's see, you could have your spread already made so that you can just seal these in, but I'm going to cut these out so you can see how it's going to be just exactly like the page protector. So I want it to be right at the bottom and then I'm just going to hold that in place. And then I'm going to pull out my piece of paper and I'm going to make it so it is right in line, wait, I think, there we go, right in line with the photos, and then I'm just going to move it up slightly. Oops. And it just takes just a minute to make sure you get it exactly where you want. Now remember, we want firm pressure, and we want to keep moving, because if we stop, we're going to create a hole. So, I'm going to do firm pressure. Crap, I want to move this off just a little bit. So, I'm going to put this right up against the paper and go. Firm pressure, keep moving. And I can't go all the way to the edge, but I can just fix it here. And it didn't slide at all, so that's super nice. So, I'm just going to line it up. And then I'll just do this last little bit. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm going to do, I could do the top here. And maybe I will do that just so that I can move on to something else. So I'm going to grab um, just four three by four cards. Because I know these ones that come in a kit, and these ones are Studio Calico. Um, are a little bit smaller than a 3x4 card. So I'm going to put these close to the bottom. And I'm not going to worry too much about the spacing. But I do want to make sure that they fit all across where I'm able to then um, I've lost my train of thought. Sorry, I am thinking, wow, 
I'm working. Um, I just want to make sure that there's going to be enough room, that these cards are going to be small enough, that there's going to be enough room. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to and line these up. See, these ones on the end keep wanting to move. And like I said earlier, you could put a little bit of a heat adhesive on the back of it, but I just don't, like it's just hard to get out. So I'm gonna go right along the edge again with the card and making sure that card's down. So you want to go right along the edge. And then I, I like to go just a little bit up, just a teeny bit. Okay, so we're gonna go right up against a piece of paper and we're gonna do firm pressure and continue to move it. Okay, that looks great. There was no skips there. And then we're gonna just do this last little bit here. Okay, so there you go. Now, I need to do the middle still. And so I'm gonna set that piece of paper, I'm gonna get my glass and my ruler. And I can't get them out because they're in there, but I can move them around a little bit with my fingernails with a light pressure because obviously I don't want to, you know, mar the plastic. Um, so I'm just going to move it around a little bit so I know that it's even, that this card is even in between. And see, they do move easily. You just got to have, you just want to be um, gentle. Just want to be gentle. Okay. Now that you've got that, and it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys, I'm gonna just go along the photo again and then I'm gonna move in just a little bit so it looks like it's about even. And I'm gonna go right along the edge and then I'm gonna come up to the top. Okay, now that kind of uh, like melted a little bit because I stopped and I was still there, so. That's what I mean. I don't know that you can probably see that very well, but um, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Oops, want to go right here like this. And I'm gonna go right along the edge. Let's see. And keep moving. Firm pressure, keep moving. Okay. Now you don't have to go clear to the top, you know, because obviously the card's not gonna fall out. So the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna get an X-Acto and I'm gonna cut the top. Now, the first time I did this, and I'll show you with this page protector, which is why I'm kinda glad that I'm making it again, because look, I when I cut it, this one was good, like it didn't go through, but the first ones I cut went through because I just did way too much pressure. So this doesn't bother me, I could, I could still use it, but I realized you need a very, very light hand with this. So I'm just gonna do a very light hand, and you could also use a ruler, but I'm not gonna use a ruler because I wanna be able to see it, and it doesn't matter if it's, pulling this down a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's even or not because you'll never see this line and see if the line's like even. But I'm just gonna go along, uh, right along the edge here and I'm just gonna do a firm but light pressure because 
I don't want it to go all the way through and I'm gonna do it just until I get and that actually did go all the way through so I need to do it a little bit lighter all right let's try this again so I'm gonna start at the one edge and I, it's really, you guys, actually it's so light, especially because this um, X-Acto blade that I'm using is new. So it, it needs to be super light. So good, that did not go all the way through. So like if you're worried about this, you can, I'm just gonna do it again, right along, um, I'm just going right along the fuse if you're worried about it going all the way through, you could actually create your layout the way that you want it and then just put your photos in it and then seal it up. You could do that, but because I didn't know what I wanted for the other day, I hadn't done that yet, um, and then I wanted to be able to open it up. So look, I can now take my photos out just like that. And this one didn't go all the way through either, so you just need a really, and I thought I was doing a light touch here, but I needed to do like even lighter. Now I guess if you have a really dull knife, you might have to push a little bit more. See, I kind of went through, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal, especially since the other ones are sealed. Okay, now we're going to work on the middle and I'm just gonna do these. So, Again, I'm just going to use my fingernail with a light pressure because I don't want to ruin the plastic at all. I'm gonna move those ones out of the way. And remember, this is just for a guide, so. Let's see, this does look like it's going to be pretty tight actually, but we'll make it work. Okay. Now we want to be careful with this because we don't have any ability to go off the page, if you know what I mean. So we just have to start and go and make sure you do not get this line because you don't want to seal that up at all. So. I might start a little bit higher and then go like so. And that's what this, this metal is really great that you can just go right up against it and go. Okay, and that one turned a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so the middle is done. And now I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm just gonna go right along the fuse edge and I'm gonna do the lightest pressure I know how to do because my blade is super perfect because my blade is super, um, super sharp. paper move this down a little bit because I'm right on the edge super light perfect now I can take these cards out and use them for another layout. Okay. 
And this one I didn't go all the way. So I just need to cut it down a little bit more. There. And this one I didn't cut all the way down either. There we go. All right, so, so far none of them went all the way through. So great, I've learned. Okay, now for the last one, I obviously don't need to do the top, but I do need to do the middle again. So I'm gonna pull out my same cards since I know they worked for the bottom. And this will obviously be a little bit easier to maneuver. so there you have it this is how you do it it's a little elaborate but you do not have to make something like this that you actually could buy in the store but think of the possibilities of taking a 12 by 12 and cutting it down and being able to make your pockets exactly the size that you want I was actually thinking how cool it would be with one of the panoramic photos that you could do like all along the bottom so you could just have like one big pocket along the bottom so there's just a lot of possibilities so anyways i hope you guys will give the fuse tool a try and remember to be super careful with it okay you guys i will see you next time thanks so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below know that i am no expert but i'm happy to help you with what i do know about making this layout and using the fuse tool okay guys we'll see you next time bye